Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 16 and compare it against the iPhone 15 Pro Max and see which particular iPhone is a better one for you. Now this is kind of interesting because the iPhone 16 is a brand new $799 phone, $829 if you're, not, you know, if you're buying it unlocked. Well, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was a $1,199 phone, but because it's been out for a little bit of time, it's available in the used market now. So you could also just swing by, buy that iPhone, and it might make more sense to go and buy that type of device in the used market than buy a brand new iPhone 16. So we'll take a look at both these phones throughout this whole entire video, but if at any point you wanna go and pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get that from there, and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these phones, the iPhone 15 Pro Max that came out back in 2023, on the front side of this phone is giving you a 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. And it's a very good panel. I think this is easily one of the better panels you can basically go ahead and buy. It looks great, it looks beautiful. And it's a 120 hertz panel as well. So this is easily one of the better displays you can buy. And I do think Apple did a really, really good job with this type of device. Is it perfect? I mean, it's pretty close. You're getting the dynamic island, very thin bezels. The only thing Apple could do here is make it a little bit brighter and then shrink down that dynamic island. Other than that, I think Apple did a really, really good job with this type of display. With the iPhone 16, this is a different type of panel for the most part. So with this type of, you know, with this whole entire phone, you're getting a smaller 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. Now there's a few things here. One, it's not an LTPO OLED. You're missing out on 120 hertz. So this is only a 60 hertz panel, which does kind of suck a little bit. Like I do kind of wish this thing did end up giving us like a you know 120 hertz panel. I feel like it's long overdue, but you basically were not getting that here on this phone. On top of that, another big thing with the iPhone 16 Pro Max, you're missing out on that, you know, always on display as well. So you were not getting an always on display on that type of phone, which is kind of an issue. So personally for me, once again, if I'm going to go through and pick up a phone, a phone like the iPhone 16 Pro Max or 15 Pro Max for that matter, is going to be giving you probably a way better experience here than the iPhone 16. So keep that in mind. Once again, not the biggest deal in the world, but that was just one thing to kind of keep in mind there. On the sides, you're both getting flat sides on both. They both look very, very good. With something like the iPhone 16 though, you are getting the action button now, which is cool. The 15 Pro Max had it as well, but the 16 is also giving you that. You are getting USB Type-C ports on the bottom of both these phones, which again is very nice to have. I love having that. And you're getting that type of capability on these two phones, which again is a very, very nice thing to have. On top of that, you're getting the camera button now on the iPhone 16. Now getting that camera button, that dedicated one is super, super cool. I love having that type of capability there. And you are essentially getting that on the iPhone 16, which like I said before, is a really cool feature in and of itself. You're also getting on the backside, frosted glass backs on both of these, which is something I love having. You're getting a triple camera setup with a LiDAR sensor on the back of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. With the iPhone 16 is giving you that standard dual camera setup lens, which is still nice, but I definitely do think the 15 Pro Max is giving you a better experience. You're also getting wireless charging on both, MagSafe capability on both, but on the iPhone 16, on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you're getting just a bigger size back and everything, which is nice. Reverse wire charging on both as well. So overall, when it comes down to the outside of both, both of them look very good. I like the way both of them hold up and look and everything like that, which is really cool. But beyond that, there's not really anything else super crazy going on here. It's just the iPhone, you know, 15 Pro Max is significantly, you know, bigger than the iPhone 16, and it's a much nicer, way better built phone as well. So keep that in mind. But that's kind of how both these phones kind of compare on the exterior. Now, in terms of the camera setups between both, this is something else that's also very, very interesting. So with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you're getting a triple camera setup on the backside, a wide ultra wide telephoto lens, which is great. You're getting a LiDAR sensor on the back of both these as well, which again is a very nice thing to have. And I definitely will tell you when it comes down to both of these, they're both very solid devices, right? The iPhone 15 Pro Max camera is very good. The iPhone 16 is giving you that dual camera setup. So this one is a wide and ultra wide camera. So with something like this, you know, I will, I will say with this type of lens, it's a you know great lens too. 4K 60 on the front and the back. With the iPhone 15 Pro Max, by getting that additional telephoto lens, it is actually very nice to basically be able to like zoom in and zoom out and have that type of lens like that, which I think is super cool. So this in and of itself, I'm really happy to have that type of camera and have that type of lens. And this in and of itself is a super cool thing to have. With the iPhone 16, I think for the average person, you're probably going to be totally okay with it. Like this type of camera is still perfectly fine. It still looks great and it still performs really, really well. But I don't know, like if I'm going to go through and pick up a phone, it's probably going to be something like the iPhone 15 Pro Max. 
I feel like that phone is going to be giving me the better camera. And like I said, if I'm going to pick up one, it's probably going to be that device. So from that side too, that kind of covers it up there a little bit as well. Now on top of that, when it comes down to the software longevity, both phones are still supported with software and they're both going to be supported with software for many, many years to come. I honestly don't know which one's going to last longer. Like I think the iPhone 16 is going to last longer, but I do think Apple could end up doing something where like the you know, the current generation base model is going to last as long as the older Pro Max models. Again, I'm not like 100% too sure, but I think that could potentially end up being a possibility here. So I think that is also another big thing that could end up happening here as well. Again, not 100% too sure, but if I'm going to look at which device is going to last longer, it probably is going to be something like the iPhone, you know, it's probably going to be something like the iPhone, you know, 16, but I think the 15 Pro Max still has a humongous future ahead of it. And I definitely do think a device like that still holds up really, really well when it comes down to it. So from that side alone, that kind of covers it up there as well. Now, on top of that, when it comes down to the performance side of things, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is giving us basically that Apple A17 Pro chip inside with 8 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 16 is giving us that Apple A18 chip inside with 8 gigabytes of RAM as well. So I would theoretically say that the iPhone 16's performance and the 15 Pro Max's performance is going to be pretty much almost the same thing. Like if you're going to go through and pick up a phone, you're probably going to be getting very similar types of you know performance and very similar types of everything for both of these devices. Like they're both going to be probably way more similar than not. And I think that's a very big thing to keep in mind here. Like if you're going to go through and pick up these phones, I think it's probably going to be, you know, very similar experience. I think one thing you're going to have to keep in mind though, when you are going through and picking up these devices is that with something like the iPhone 15 Pro Max, this device is giving you that ProMotion display. So because of that, that phone has a higher likelihood of feeling and like performing like a really, really good device. And that is something that I like a lot. Like if you're going to go through and pick up a phone, I love being able to have a device like the iPhone 15 Pro Max and basically have a phone for the most part that's, you know, going to be giving you that ProMotion display. Because if you already don't have a ProMotion display, it is already kind of an outdated device, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. But I still think something like the iPhone you know, 16 is still a very good performing device when it comes down to it as well. Another thing that's kind of stated is the battery life. You were getting 29 hours of video playback on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and you're getting 22 hours of video playback on the iPhone 16. So if you're going to go through and pick up a phone, I will definitely tell you in almost every single way, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is probably going to be the better performing phone when it comes down to it, more so than the iPhone 16. So to kind of sum it up, what I'll definitely tell you, I love the iPhone 16 and I love the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I think these phones are very good and if you're going to go and pick up a device, you can't really go wrong with either one of these, right? But if I didn't really care about the size too much, I'm definitely going through and buying the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I think that phone is very good. I think it's a very, very killer device in almost every single way. If I'm going to go through and pick up a phone, it's definitely going to be the iPhone 15 Pro Max in my personal opinion. But I think the iPhone 16 is still fairly good. It's still a very, very good device. But like I said, if I'm going to go through and pick up a phone, it's probably going to be the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there too. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.